What's up, Dennis? What's up, what's up? How's it going, bro? You? Yeah, good, baby. You know, you, you, you my man. You're the only one that can get us to do this. You know, we're not over right now, but I'll definitely give you a nice little tour. So, the, you know, you've been here before, but we've changed it up every time. So, we're here at the Bishop. This is our gallery store. It's called the Artist Marketplace. And the tagline for the store is where art and commerce meet. And the whole idea here is to provide a platform for artists to sell things that are inspired by or derivatives of their artwork. Everything from prints to clothing to different products. You see, we have these like watches, these handmade silk scarves, these buttons. It's also a great way to show off the artists that we work with from around the world. So you see artists here, artwork here from six or seven continents. You have this brother right here, he's from Brazil, Sao Paulo, Brazil. The woman who makes these scarves is from Rajasthan, India. We have another artist whose work is on display. She is um, from New Zealand, lives in Australia now. And then of course we have tons of local Brooklyn and New York based artists that we work with. Like this gentleman who makes these sneakers, his name is Justin Gilsey and he goes by Club Bum. Um, so you get the idea, this is more of a entrepreneurial centered um, business where it gives artists a chance with it. You know, you're not always doing an art show and selling paintings and original artworks, but you need other ways to make income. And also it's a great introductory way for new collectors. These things are a little more affordable than uh, sometimes original artwork can be in the beginning. And so we have a lot of that type of things up here. So back here, it would usually be this well curated, really nice white walls and lots of bright light gallery. However, <laughs> due to COVID, we had to shut things down like most galleries. And during that shutdown period, we realized that so many of our artists were losing studios, were no longer able to afford studios, had tons of shows. Um, some of them were on grants and scholarships and those got canceled. Um, so a lot of people were in great need of just working space. And so what we've done is created an artist and residency program where at no cost we allow artists who are part of the program to come here and actually use this as their studio space. We have several artists now. Um, some of the feature artists, as you can see, you're looking at her work now, is Sophia Dawson. Um, she's a professor at the School of Visual Arts, um, alumnus of NYU. She's also been part of other residency programs like the Bronx Museum Residency Program, the Whitney Residency Program. Um, she's using this as a studio space now. You also have artwork from, there's another example of an artist who's here now. Her name is Kiana Parks. Um, you may know her from her DJing life. She's a really famous, world famous DJ. She's in Mexico now working. Um, but she only DJs because she paints. She started off DJing by making playlists for her to listen to while she was painting in her studio as a young girl. And so, well, her home studio, I should say. And so that practice has grown. She's collected um, globally and she just has amazing work. Um, as you can see, very different artists, um, but they work definitely you know has a home here and then we have tons of other artists also participating um either on a visiting basis so for example um alexander k2 he comes here from brazil he uses it we also have a junior resident who's uh, a local from right here on marcy and Murphy. she's from marcy projects her name is lauren henry she um just graduated high school and so after, well would have started her first semester at the Savannah College of Art and Design this year, but she deferred to next year because of COVID restrictions. Um, so but the whole idea here is to provide a platform for artists. So it's a lot busier, a little messier than usual. Um, but that's because it's a living organic place. People are in here at two in the afternoon, 2 a.m. creating. Man, I love it. I really appreciate you coming through here to uh, make time for me. Um, and, uh, let me show you the rest of the studio real quick cool. before you get up out of here. Yes, sir. So, we have another artist in residence. He has a, a maker space over here. Where he's creating a variety of stuff, not just artwork. Yeah. 
Yeah, so he's obviously painting, but he has a vinyl lettering and printmaking and signage. He's also doing silk screen. So a lot of the things that you'll see up front in the store, we actually have the capacity to create that here right. on site. So it's not just for traditional studio artists, but also makers and non-traditional creatives as well. Oh man. Again, forgive the mess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But that's what happens when work is actually being done. And that's what I appreciate, man. That's what you can be there is all about, man. Real life, true, unscripted um, experiences. Don't get more unscripted than that. Yeah. Appreciate you, brother.